Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yay. I'm so glad to see you here. Do you have your poems? Yeah. Do you have more than one? No. Looks like there's a bunch back there. Get ready. Do you have your poems, Chuck? <laughs> yeah. We welcome you to church this morning. We're glad you're here. And we welcome those who are online. I'm going to say especially good morning, Judy Courtright. Your cat is <laughs> not happy at all. might be listening on the radio because I know there were mornings when I sat outside in, in my vehicle alternately running the engine and polluting the air but listening to the church so I wasn't bringing germs inside. Um, let's take a look at our announcements for this week. First of all, there's a great pair of leather gloves in the back that, that Chuck and I found out in the parking lot one morning and that they were probably lost almost a month ago, maybe even. As we picked them up and they sat on the back table for a while, and but they're there, so if they're yours, take them with you. I'm sure they're dried out by now. <laughs> um, this week is an exciting week. This is Holy Week. We have um, two more services coming up this week, one on Thursday um, at 6 p.m. And then Good Friday is going to be, a, and that's here, because we, the Lutheran Church does their services there, we do ours here. And then, but on Good Friday, we're going to all get together as a group again, and that will be at their church, well, so at 6 p.m. And then, of course, next Easter, or next Resurrection Sunday next week. Hope to see you back. Um, in your bulletin, We'll tell you who we're expecting coming up and some soups and sandwiches on the 7th of April. Now, we just want to bring this up to those who participate in them. On April 21st, we have read the retired Reverend Gordon Berry is coming in. He was here a couple of years ago and spoke with us a few times. I remember in going to different churches, when you finish that service, you're hungry. So I just want to put it out there to think about. We don't have to make a decision today, but think about it if you want to have soup and sandwich that Sunday as well. So we feed the um, Gordon Berry and his wife and feed ourselves. It's kind of fun to get together. Anyway, I just want to put that out there. Think about it. Let me know how you feel. And we'll go from there. Otherwise, we'll just give them a bag, doggy bag. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> anyway, I just want to put that there. Paul. Oh. Could you tell me anything about uh, Cartwright, Judy? Judy's in Arizona having a great time. Oh, I'm hanging out with her cat. I thought she was home. Having a great time. I'm sorry. It's okay. I talked to her last night. She said to tell everybody all. <laughs> um, anything else that we need to be bringing out here for announcements? Anyone else? Announcements? Judy? Did you talk about Good Friday service at the Lutheran Church? I did. You did, or I missed it. Okay. I did. <laughs> right over here, I saw him. Billy. Life support tomorrow and Monday at 6 p.m. Mondays. Yes, life support. Thank you. 6 p.m. Uh, I had a question uh, for sure. somebody who uh, wanted to know who is going to serve next week on Easter. Next week on Easter, it's going to be a whole group of us. Whoever we can round up, it's going to be mostly scripture and song. 
So the message will come through the scripture and through the song. And it will be just, we've got a lot of people here who've been speaking over the last couple of months. And some of them, will, and hopefully most of them, will be here and speaking that Sunday in different ways. We're going to let the word tell the word. Get the words. Okay. Right. Anything else? For the good of our congregation, um, song Palms in the Park, Chuck, was an ecumenical yeah. effort, and evidently Chuck said it went well, yeah. was well attended. Church and a few of their members, so. It was a very nice thing, and we prayed for the community and all. Good. Just remember to pray for the community. All right, and with that, we're going to ask Jane to call us to worship with our prelude as Billy brings in the light. Thank you. 
thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Find the festive procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God. I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. It was from Psalm 118. 1 verse 1 and verses 19 through 29. The Gospel of Mark is from chapter 11 verses 1 through 10. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Beth and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Just say this, the Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found the colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? They told him what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. <clears throat> Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest. Don't get too comfortable. Please stand and if you want to march around, feel free, but we are going to sing in that next page, 278. Hosanna, loud Hosanna. Just the first two verses. Your palm branches high. <laughs>
time for our joys and concerns. And I am going to just keep them all here to organize. I am going to ask you to speak up so I can hear you. I, I'm just going to start with a joy. I was at my parents' house um, Friday, Friday and Saturday and um, helped my dad put his new leg on. And he can't walk very far, but he does a great job. And he is really excited about having that. Um, he's got some other health concerns, but thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for all your prayers that got him this far. And not only that, but one of the miracles of this is my dad, who only has 20% of his heart working, now has a pulse in his left leg of 41. Wow. How does that happen? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So, should I um, want to invite you to share your joys, your concerns? Glad to have Paul here. You feeling okay after your fall? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be back. We're glad you are back. Thank you. Brian? We're going to thank Sammy and Bess and my mama both being pretty well. Wonderful. <clears throat> Others? Yeah. Billy? Um, Kristen Kronberger is um, in the hospital with her toes. It's been acting up and she just got out so prayers for her and prayers for Auntie Gloria. She has a UTI. Mm -hmm. Prayers for Aunt Gloria. Okay. Hang on. I took my glasses off so I could read the words. Let me put the jack on so I can see you. Yeah. Yeah. The first for my brother, Don. He's having a real hard time with chemo. Okay. Judy? I have a joy. Um, she's not going to like this, but um, I want to say a joy for Tomoko because if Tomoko wasn't here, we would not be broadcasting live today. We have been working this system for a couple of weeks and she has been on it. So her technology ability. And, and getting those computers to run the way we need them to. I have both uh, joy and a concern. Um, as many of you know, we had very dry conditions and we had a big fire war. It was so dry and the fire danger. And I've been praying for some rain and snow, really. And uh, so that was a concern that things were so dry. And the joy is that we are going to get some snow and rain, but the concern is it's, it's going to be a lot of, it's starting at five o'clock and it's going to snow for 12 hours and then we're going to get hit by rain. And so the concern is everybody be in your house at five and stay nice and safe and enjoy the blessing of uh, having moisture in the soil that we so desperately need. So you're reminding us ahead of time to pay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that is sort of. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 There have been a lot of people praying for moisture. I guess that's where we get that much one time, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Others? I have one more. Oh, way back there. Hi, Pat. I'm what? Yes. He's 
one more joy for all the people in the church that are doing things to keep the church together. Yes. Every time we've come in here in the last couple of weeks, somebody else is here doing something. And they're vacuuming, they're dusting, they're fixing things, um, they're getting ready for services. It's, it's an amazing thing to see how we pull together and how many talents we have here. So apply yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Family, it's made up of people, and that—that that is what the body of Christ is like. Thank you. And I think we did a great job of getting us through the Lenten service with soup and sandwich. Everybody here really worked hard at it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I think they did absolutely. A and the altar yeah. is gorgeous today, mm -hmm. just in preparation for this this whole week and season. Did you want Easter lilies? If possible, I have one big one that I bought, but if people want to bring them, that would be okay. great. So talk to Vicki if you have one that you want to bring in. Um, make sure you take that yellow salmon off because that's what makes the stuff that the rest of us are allergic to. <clears throat> Anybody else? Jane, how are things going with your family? <coughs> How's your family? Jane? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I, there, we still need some prayers for some, okay. some things happening. <laughs> Always prayers. <laughs> Let us pray. God, you, you hear these, these prayers that we raise, the, the prayers for those who are ill, for Kristen in the hospital, and for Gloria, who's a beloved member of this congregation, and not forgotten, for, for Bess and for Brian's mom, for Gail's brother, Don's chemo, for the prayers for my father and for my daughter-in-law's uncle Chris, his cancer. We pray for Don, Dan Hewitt, for the strength of his heart, and the wisdom of his doctors, for his family and for Charlotte. <coughs> Lord, we give thanks for my dad's growing strength, for he and my mom persevering, for Tomoko and the gift she's brought and shared freely with this congregation, for the moisture that's coming to reduce the fire danger, and we pray for that as well. And Lord, we know that you have heard the prayers of our heart, those who, that we have left unspoken, prayers for comfort, for solace, for healing, prayers of thanksgiving. Lord, we know that you want so much of us because you give so much to us. As we consider the depth of our relationship with those whom we encounter daily and with the one with you, as you call us to faith. Lord, we, we confess that we excuse ourselves from reaching out to all those who need your care. <clears throat> We confess that, that there will always be unmet needs and reasons for us to try not to meet them. And we ask that you forgive us and you help us to change 
and renew our determination to live as your faithful follower. Help us to work with you and to let you work through us that we may be your hands and feet here in this community, in this church, in our world. Lord, as we approach this week of passion, as we celebrate this day, this Palm Sunday, your triumphal in the beginning of your journey through this passion. As we prepare our hearts, be with us. And as we raise together, is one the prayer your, your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and then forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. We can have our ushers go forward. We take our tithes and offerings. I've asked Chuck to sing a song today that's going to take a little longer, so when you're done, just, just have a seat back there. Get comfortable till he finishes. But it's part of the service. <laughs> Some say he was an outlaw who roamed across the land with a band of unschooled ruffians and a few old fishermen. Where he came from or what it was he done, but they said it must be something bad.
and of our lives, and we ask that you use them to do your will here on this earth. In Christ's name, amen. Before I read the Old Testament reading from Isaiah, um, I check with Catherine, and what I do is I write down the prayer concerns so that I can remember them throughout the week. I did forget to mention uh, I lost a friend of mine this week who was 61 and had children and grandchildren, and he basically, on uh, no warning, uh, and uh, so I want to, if you would please remember Craig Winnie and his family. And then uh, a couple days ago, we had Nordeen, and the uh, matriarch of many of the Nordeen families, uh, and uh, the mother of Dave and Peter and Nancy and Christine and Artie and Wesley and Monica, and I don't know who all I'm forgetting. And uh, I just ask if you could remember the Nordeen family as well in your prayers. So the Old Testament reading is from Isaiah 50, verses 4 through 9. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those that are dead. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheek to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint. And I know that I'll sh I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. From Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equally with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now the choir is going to join us. I'm glad that you're here. <clears throat>
The Gospel reading is from Mark 14, verses 1 through 15. Would you please rise? If you're able. Thank you. It was two days before the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. For they said, not during the festival, for they may be a riot among the people. While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, he sat at the table. A woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard. And she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, why was the ointment wasted in this way? For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you. And you can show kindness to them whenever you wish. But you will always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priests in order to betray him to them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him. So he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, his disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and make presents preparations for you to eat the Passover. So he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. And wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, the teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover meal. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The story does not end. It continues on. The call for liturgy for this morning is Passion Sunday. It has us reading 103 more verses of scripture for Mark. I didn't think you understand that one. But I mean, no, you need a little scratch. Would you pray with me, please, in the, in the words of Psalm 19? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, a rock and our redeemer. Amen. Palm Sunday. This is, as our bulletin tells us, Palm and Passion Sunday. Oh my. A hundred and three more verses of the Gospel of Mark that we didn't read, that I urge you to read takes us through the passion of Christ's final days and teachings, his last meal with his disciples, the garden 
his arrest, his trial, the flogging that stripped the flesh from his bones, the road to the cross, and finally, the resurrection. The rest of the story comes next week. You'll want to be here for that. Oh, wow. I loved Palm Sunday as a child. It was a joyous occasion. We all got palms to wave, and we got to parade around the church, and the children's choir would <coughs> sing, as well as the adults' choir, and afterwards we'd compete to see who could gather up and take home the most palms. We put them in a vase in the living room, and maybe up on the bedstead of our beds, the headboards, and although I think that my mom kind of limited the number of palms that we brought home, there are a lot of other kids there too who needed them, you know. Not to mention what I didn't know then is that we needed them there at the church so we could burn them for next year's action. Palm Sunday. It meant that Easter was coming. Easter was only a week away, and Easter meant baskets and chocolate and, and pussy willow egg trees and jelly beans. It, we, would, we would have been blowing eggs every time we ate scrambled eggs or cooked with them or baked with them for over a month to, to save those shells so we could dye them, all of those incredible colors. Easter meant getting up early, like super early, in the morning to be at the sunrise, and then it meant sunrise service. Although, it never occurred to us that the sun came up a little later. I don't know, was that free daylight savings time? <laughs> it, and it, it, we'd help make that special Easter breakfast that the men would prepare every Sunday, Easter Sunday morning, it meant glorious music. And sometimes, even a trumpet. In church. And in between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, there was that stark, brutal, glorious drama of the Passion Play. Oh, yes. We loved Palm Sunday. Use those palms. How many of you have started? Chuck, I'm not seeing your hands full of a palm. Oh, there you have one. <laughs> You've got one already made. <laughs> I didn't realize till I was older that you could use that palm to make a cross. There's extra palms in the back there, you guys. You can busy your hands while you're listening. For the waving of the palms on Sunday turned into a cross by Friday. Hosanna, Hosanna. God, save us, save us. <coughs> From what did they want to be saved? Those were desperate people in desperate times. And here comes this man riding in on a colt, a never ridden donkey. When a king was going to war, he rode on a horse. When he rides on a donkey, he is declaring himself a king of peace. And never ridden cult enhances that decoration, declaration of peace. You saw this morning before our service, if you're watching, Chuck changed our banners. King of kings, Lord of lords. I'm not sure if we have Prince of 
piece up here. Back here. Back there. And the Son of God is there. Actions have meaning. And this action of Christ riding in on a colt has is a declaration of, of power and authority. The king, the prince of peace has come. In Psalm 118 we read, lift up your gates as the Lord of righteousness may enter. enter. And then in verse 20, that's verse 20, and in verse 25 it reads, Lord save us. Lord grant us success. Hosanna. Desperate times. Desperate people. Most of the people in that city didn't even know what was going on. And before the week was through, the Hosannas would turn from save us to crucify him. Are you here for the whole story? From the soul poems to the cross? From the cross to the resurrection. Because the message does not stop at the cross. Thank you, God. <clears throat> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. But we can't get from here to here to Resurrection Sunday without taking the path that leads to the cross, the way of passion. When we wave our, when we wave our, our palms, lifting them high in this special Sunday, we are declaring our allegiance to the Prince of Peace, our Prince of Peace, our Jesus, our Christ, our Redeemer, our Messiah, despite Knowing what's coming, our joy is here. We lift our palms this day and shout, Hosanna, because our joy is already here. In Luke chapter 19, when Jesus is rebuked by the Pharisees and told to quiet the crowds in this in, in Luke's story of this path of this Sunday, of this Palm Sunday, Jesus says, I tell you, if they were silent, the stones themselves would cry out. That's why we shout Hosanna. It is our excitement, our joy, that our Prince has come. That passion has started. It starts with the stories. It starts with the incarnation. And it continues. Creation itself knew the significance of the Son of God declaring his, by his entry into this holy city what he has come to do. Was that not? Osana, save us, because he is the only one who could. What is Jesus asking of us in this journey? To come with him? To believe? To consider the depth of our gratitude for his journey for our salvation? Is he asking us to respond? To take responsibility as his people towards others in this world. To share his word. I'm going to encourage you not to just leave the story here at Mark 14, 16, but I'm going to encourage you to read on. All the way through those 103 verses, 
all the way through Mark 15, 47. So you don't bounce from the joyous interest, entry into Jerusalem to the resurrection, the joyous resurrection, without experiencing the journey. Because how can we experience how bright the light is without having stood in the shadow? Even still, join us here on Thursday, and I believe we're going to offer this service online as well, right? At our Monday Thursday services at 6 p.m., where we'll read the story from each of the Gospels, taking us further along the journey. And then Good Friday services um, at the Lutheran Church on Friday. Come with us. Step by step on this journey through the darkness into the light. For Jesus is the light of the world. He is the Lamb of God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace. Come with us. Hosanna. Hosanna. Shalom. To stand and sing with us, Lamb of God.
tell them, God be with you. Amen. Amen.